Hey my loves, welcome back for another video. If you're tuning in for the first time, I am Ashley and today we're gonna be doing a hair tutorial. If you're feeling this gorgeous brown color that I dyed this wig, keep on watching. So today, this wig comes courtesy of By Lace Wig. They sent over a deep curly wig and of course they included some free goodies, which is always a plus. I'm gonna be using the 40 volume developer to go ahead and create a gorgeous natural brown look. They also included the elastic band, which is important if you are interested in a glueless install. Of course, I did not install it this time around, but you guys can see the inside of the wig and how much parting space you get. Absolutely awesome. Also, because we're gonna go ahead and use a 40 volume developer, I'm not gonna bleach the knots. Um, traditionally, I'm just gonna go ahead and allow the developer to um, hit that lace, so that way it'll naturally lighten the knots but they won't be completely bleached. So I've done this tutorial on my channel before and you guys absolutely love that video. I believe that was over a year ago and I still get so many people like DMing me asking me questions about that. So I thought I'd do an update it. Literally with this type of um, hair coloring system or um, technique, you pretty much cancel out the bleach. Normally you would go ahead and add developer and bleach, create a mixture and apply that to your hair. I'm skipping on the bleach and literally just using the developer. Again, I used a four you can use a 30 or a 50 for a 50 it'll bleach or not bleach it will develop faster if you use a 30 it will develop slower if you use a 20 or a 10 you will be waiting forever so 40 for me was like the safest way to do it without um you know it taking way too long and as you guys can see i had this all planned out and of course i ran out which was a doozy but it definitely was enough i didn't really cut the clips too much because i kind of want you to see i really did take my time working in the product the first time i did this tutorial i had a fresh bottle so i was able to literally over saturate 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 the wig but you guys can see as i'm going through i really want to be thorough and make sure that the product is evenly distributed especially because this is a curly style wig sometimes the curly um pieces are kind of like clump each of each of the curls are like clumped together if that makes any sense so it's very easy to like apply bleach on a curl and like in the middle of that curl there's some nice hair that is not being exposed so i am just you know taking my time making sure that every inch is um you know saturated really nice with this if you find yourself running out i wouldn't be completely opposed to like this is a 40 if you have like no more 40 left but you have a 30 under your sink adding a little bit more just so that each piece is you know saturated but just understand that a 40 and a 30 will have a different reaction so if you do mix different um developers it will again have a different reaction So after working it in with my hands, yeah, you can see I just went ahead with the tangle teaser brush. These type of little tangle teaser brushes are my favorite when it comes to detangling with a wig off my hair, especially when I am doing something like this where I am bleaching or dyeing or developing a wig because I kind of just feel like it helps to make sure that every inch of the hair is saturated. The worst thing to do is to go through this whole product process and get to the end, rinse it all out, style the wig, and find that there's a huge patch of hair that absolutely did not receive any of the color. So 
So this is what the wig looks like with all of the developer nicely distributed through the wig. I decided to do this on top of one of my trash bags and literally I just covered it and let it sit. And this is what it looks like a few hours later. Um, I started this product process around 1 a.m. and this is what it looked like at 3 a.m. And then this is what it looks like at 8 a.m. I literally had went to sleep because I just kept checking on it and I was like, okay, it's not processing, it's not processing. I went to sleep, I set my alarm for 8 a.m. and this is what it looks like when I went ahead and rinsed out. So about seven hours, the process um, or the developer had to process. And again, this was a slow process. When the first time I did this, I put the wig in a plastic bag and I tied it up. And honestly, I think that made a huge difference um, anytime you do, do this I think it's gonna be different variables with me I kind of left it on the counter and um, I just covered it with the trash bag but it wasn't like tied up airtight so if you wanted to process a little bit faster I definitely think that's what the way to go like after you're done just drop the whole thing in the plastic bag I'll have that one linked in the description box and as you guys can see the knots did um, light naturally too. I absolutely love the color that I received. Again, watch my original tutorial on this and you'll see that that one got way lighter in less time. And again, I think it's because I used the trash bag method, but this absolutely was gorgeous. Also, an important thing to note, I showed you guys I used the Aussie Moist for conditioner for this wig and I also used the Ion Purple Shampoo to wash it. I washed it once with the purple shampoo and then to sort of subtly tone it I went ahead and applied the shampoo a second time and I left it to sit while I ran errands so it literally stayed the purple shampoo stayed on it for about maybe an hour and I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't brassy or too orange or too yellow since that developer did stay on for so long and it came out amazing now this is what the wig looks like in a yellow light setting I have my ring light on and I also have the bathroom light on and you guys can see um it's nice it's subtle it's natural but it definitely has an orange tint to it um when you see it um in just a minute you'll see that it is more of a brown it's a rich brown but it's not too orange or it's not too red by any means and this is me going ahead and styling the hair you guys can see all of the clips I've showed before this was the hair in its natural state it was conditioned with the Aussie Moist as I said before but I didn't leave any product in it and I allowed it to air dry on my wig head and the curl pattern remained super nice there was no brassiness um, it didn't um, shed or tangle or anything crazy it literally did nothing crazy and then you guys know sometimes when you bleach hair it has that crazy bleach smell it didn't smell like that at all which definitely was a plus so again I went ahead with my water and kind of saturated it I didn't want it wet um, just a little bit damp so that when I apply a styling product um, it'll kind of help it to stretch and um, distribute a little bit better and of course I used a mousse Everything I use is listed in the description box. Okay, so this is the finished look. Now, I did not do the full install on this video only because I feel like majority of my videos, I do the entire install process. And I kind of want to focus sometimes on like specific, uh, specific, specific um, things that you guys can learn if that makes any sense. So you can literally watch almost any one of my videos. I have one or two linked down in the description box where I do the full install using got to be glued which is pretty much what i did the focus of this video was the hair itself and the color i absolutely turn it off cody thank you baby i absolutely love the color you guys just see my daughter turn the light on and it um I feel like you can't see the true color with the yellow lighting in my apartment so I have like the lights out in here and just the ring light which is normally how I film because I feel like the tone of the um what do you call it the kitchen light or my house light will kind of interfere with the color it's a nice subtle brown but like when it's wet it's like 
super chocolate um and then when it dries it's a lot more rich also it's one of those colors that like in the house you kind of feel like it's toned down and then in the daylight it gives you a nice bright feel i absolutely love it i believe it complements my skin tone super well the key to it was to tone i feel like a lot of times when you bleach especially using like a developer like a 40 or 50 and um adding like the BW bleach because it's like a general bleach. I kind of feel like a lot of times it gives you orange or brassy when you leave it on for a long time. And the way that you counter that is Okay, so I keep getting interrupted. I'm so sorry, but I know, baby. But yes, I'm absolutely in love with this color. I feel like it's super rich, and you can definitely tell that like I added color, but it's not like out there in your face. Like this is, I feel like when I dye my hair, I get nervous because if it's like too red or too brown or too blonde or too any other color, you can't really pull it off without makeup. This is subtle enough to where you can definitely like rock it and you don't have to be like, made up to look pretty if that makes any sense so i absolutely love it if you want it to be even more safe of course you can keep the dark the darker root i would just recommend that when you go in with the developer you don't go all the way up obviously throughout the entire lace or if it's a little bit harder to do that you just make sure you don't go um all the way up around the hairline and it's specifically where you're gonna part so if i was gonna do a side part i would pre-part it and just make sure i keep it like here and then once i get like with the developer um here i would kind of like feather it up so that it's not like dark root brown it's like gradient hopefully i make sense i do have tutorials of me dying hair um they're a little bit old and all need to be updated but yeah i just kind of wanted to give you guys an outro and show you guys the hair live and full effect now as many hours as i kept the dye on um it definitely did not negatively affect the hair if i would have kept bleach and developer on it it probably would be shredded but um you guys seen I co-washed it, um, I finger combed it and all of that and I haven't got any excess or extreme shedding. Just naturally and normally what you would get with any hair and so that made me happy and as you guys can see um, the curls were there. Um, I air dried it and let it, I basically let it air dry um, in its natural state with no product and the curls were there. I did add a little bit of mousse just so that like when I go out into the elements, it doesn't frizz up too much and the curls can be a little bit more defined and that worked out awesome. So make sure you guys check out By Lace. I absolutely love this company. I believe I've worked with them before. If I have, I'll try to link that video in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Also, also, I want to say happy holidays. Um, we are two days away from Thanksgiving, so happy holidays. I hope you guys are enjoying time with your family and friends, and hopefully you get an extended vacation, four-day, three-day weekend. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!